Hey friends, it's Brittany Valadez. I want to thank you for checking out this video where I had a chance to interview Lee Strobel via phone about his new movie, The Case for Christ. Now, Lee was an award-winning journalist at the Chicago Tribune where he was an atheist and his wife is an agnostic. One day, she decided to become a Christian, so he wanted to disprove this cult by attacking the core of the Christian faith. Now that is the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In his mind, if he could disprove this, he could disprove this entire religion as false. So he set out on a two-year journey, and his discoveries came to be the book, The Case for Christ. Now, there is a movie coming out called The Case for Christ on April 7th. I had a chance to get four of these books, four of the brand new books from the movie, for you guys, signed signed by him and his wife. I'm going to be giving them away here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is subscribe by going to the end of this video, clicking on my face, subscribe, and then leaving a comment on any one of these videos below. I'm going to be giving two books away this week and two books away next week. Woo! I know, I'm excited myself. Okay, so if you guys are wondering about this movie and if you should check it out, if you're a Christian, you'll definitely want to check it out. If you're maybe a backslid a little bit, or if you are another faith, but you don't really need to kind of like trying to figure out if you want to be a Christian or if you just think Christians are ridiculous and a waste of time, then you should definitely check out this movie. Why? Because if you like reason, common sense, and facts, then this movie is for you. When you became a Christian and your book came out, what did your former colleagues have to say? Well, yeah, that's a great question. I, I you know, uh, people were rather stunned at the Chicago Tribune when it became known that I had become a Christian. Uh, but I ended up, um, right after I became a Christian, um, I prayed and asked God, um, I said to him, that, you know, my goal in life is to run a newspaper, to be the top editor, to really be able to shape it. And uh, if you see fit to open that opportunity, I'd love that opportunity. And within 30 days, uh, he opened an opportunity for me to go and edit uh, one of the finest small newspapers in America down in Columbia, Missouri. And um, so I left the Tribune about 30 days after I came to faith. And um, um, we had a big farewell party at the Tribune, and, and the governor declared it Lee Strobel Day in, in Illinois. And, <laughs> and uh, But I think people were kind of scratching their heads a little bit to say, well, what happened to Strobel? He was this atheist. He was a skeptic. He was this guy hostile toward Christianity. I saw one of my uh, former competitors um, uh, not long ago in Chicago um, who hadn't seen me since my days as this drunken, uh, narcissistic, uh, immoral living atheist uh, reporter for the Tribune. And uh, he saw me and he said, Strobel, how the blank are you doing, you son of a blankety blank? And I said, well, you know, I've had a big change in my life. I've, I've become a Christian and, and I'm a pastor now. And he looked at me, and it's like the cigar almost fell out of his mouth, and all he could say was, well, I'll be damned. And uh, I said, well, you know what? You don't have to be. And uh, God gave me an opportunity to share the gospel with him. So you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think that's amazing. And I, I've, also, I've often told people, I said, you know, sometimes it takes a colleague who was living one way to change their life in order to, to help save or show the light to other people because you know if had you been a yeah. pastor yeah all your life you may not have reached him but because he knew you before he could see you after and he's just like oh i noticed a change and i'm gonna listen to you yeah so i think that's you know that's the power of a, of a personal story of a testimony um that it's hard to argue that uh, you know when when people see the change in you um, my little daughter, who um, was five years old when I came to faith, who only knew a dad who was absent or, and angry and um, uh, drunken uh, the first five years of her life, after I came to faith and she began to watch the changes in her dad and uh, that something new was happening, something different was happening, after four or five months, she came up to my uh, wife and to her Sunday school teacher and said, I want God to do for me what he's done for daddy. And so uh, at age five, she became a follower of Jesus, and now she's uh, married She's a, to, a, to a seminary graduate. She's a novelist um, that always writes books that contain the message of Jesus in them, and, and uh, we're best friends now. Um, so, uh, you know, you're right, uh, seeing a, a changed life uh, lived out in front of us can be powerful in terms of pointing us toward the reality of, of the Christian message.